folks on the iOS side with with iPhones, when you purchase stuff and you got a, a, a digital wallet, you collect uh, Apple Cash, right? You can actually save bits of the money, uh, kind of like as a reward when you shop at certain places. Kind of, kind of like Honey, kind of like Rakuten and things like that, right? Apple has their own services as well. If you have an Apple card, an Apple uh, credit card, and up until this point. Th that, those extra dividends, those extra rebates and, and, and uh, deposits into your account, you can only put those directly to your bank account or to a Visa debit card or Visa, Visa debit uh, environment. Now they've added MasterCard as well. Look, it just it just makes sense. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because it's just Apple doing different things to get you to shop with the Apple card and you get one, two, three, sometimes even higher than that uh, percentage back on your purchase. And that goes into your Apple cash account. And, you know, I, I literally those funds to pay down my, my credit card. And so uh, the fees are, are, are pretty low, right? Comparative to anything else. If you want to deposit your Apple cash into a regular checking account or savings account, there are no fees. But if you want to do this instant transfer of, of, of your funds, they are going to charge you uh, I believe it's one and one and a half percent. So if you don't need that money uh, immediately uh, and you can wait one to two, maybe three days, three business days, then, then go that route. But you now have the convenience and the opportunity and the option of transferring your rebated funds in your Apple Cash account to MasterCard, Visa and your banking accounts. So there you go. Get it going. Get an Apple card first, though, folks. You got to get an Apple card first. I wonder how many people actually have an Apple card versus a cash app card. I, I wonder what that percentage is. Uh, is, is that it's Apple? low. It's low. So basically just the people who have cash app where this is, you know, where this would You mean be. the Apple card? Yeah. 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 So yeah, you, you got to have the Apple. Yeah, where, am I, where, am I, where am I wallet at? Got that. Yeah. Man, it, it's one of them. I'm not going to say it's one of them bougie cards, but look, it, it weighs like twice as much weighs about twice as much as any regular credit card in your in your wallet and it, you know it, it's one of those things right you're, you're an apple fanatic you're a fan of the whole ecosystem of apple yeah you want to you want to try and go get that apple card and 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 have that in your wallet you go buy something at the apple store you get uh, a high percentage rebate back you can go into a at a, a restaurant and i think you get two percent back everywhere else you get one percent more people have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, things like that. But again, this is just a, a move, I think, for Apple to try to be more competitive and try to offer some advanced and, 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 dif and different types of services to people as well. So.